Alrighty, everyone. To celebrate 100 years of Disney, I thought no better way than to do a tier list of which Pixar characters could I beat in a fight. I think this is going to be in a lot of fun. We have some interesting stuff here. So let's get into it. Alright, so we have at the top, I would destroy them tier. There is no questions asked. I would just obliterate them. They would destroy me tier, which, you know, maybe they will. 50-50 shot, and then GG easy. So, you know, at the lowest, we have the ones that I could easily just destroy. They're not even really going to fight me. At the top tier, it's, ooh, it's a good fight, but I would easily... Not easily, but I would destroy them. So let's get started. Flick from an ant's life. I think that's an absolute... or Not ant's life, <laughs> bug's life. <laughs> um, I think Flick is an easy one. I would just step on top of him. He would just die. Um, I'm pretty sure I could obliterate the entire colony. I could just, you know, take a, a lighter fluid and a match out into the woods and just... There goes the entire colony. Alright, Dory from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Now, this is a fish. Now, the real question is, will I be able to catch the fish? And if I'm able to catch the fish, I, I think it's a GG easy. I just got to throw that thing on the grill and then boom. Alright, Buzz Lightyear. So, the thing about Buzz Lightyear is he's powerful, right? But he's also a toy. So... I guess we have to apply the logic that they're basically on my level. We're on the same level. And I know that didn't really get applied with the ant or, you know, Dory. But, hey, Buzz Lightyear, if he's on the same level, I think it's a 50-50 fight. All right, Toe Mater from Cars. Well, the only reason he's really going to beat me is if I run a red light and he has to tow me back to, like, I don't know, wherever. And, you know, I'm a relatively <laughs> good driver. Um... I, I make a few mistakes sometimes, but overall, I'm I'm pretty good. So I I think uh, eh, I think that's a GG easy. All right, Jesse from Toy Story. Um, yeah, th this is a definite um GG easy. I cannot think of a situation where I would lose to Jesse. This is just too easy. Um, yeah. All right, Hank the Squid. Hank the Squid, actually, I think it's a 50-50 fight. Because Hank... Actually, no, I'm going to say he would destroy me. The only reason I'm going to say Hank would actually be able to destroy me is because for some reason, they gave him invisibility powers in the movie. So he could just, like, camouflage with whatever. And then he could just jump on my face and just start squirting all the ink and then just, like, destroying me, okay? It would be like one of those funny fail videos, except I would die in the process and people would still laugh. All right, Eve from Wally. Okay, it definitely destroy me. I mean, this is we're talking about an extraterrestrial robot android deal looking robot thing, and it has like lasers, dude, absolute destruction. Okay, Remy from Ratatouille. Now. If it's just Remy, I think this is easy. If it's all of his friends, um, there was this thing called the Black Plague. If we're talking about, like, <laughs> Remy and all his buddies, then, uh, let me just, uh, let me make, let me make a new role. Uh, we're gonna put <laughs> Genocide. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna put Remy in Genocide, just assuming that it's him and all his buddies, because, uh, they, they did kind of kill a lot of people and yeah i think he would just win that all right carl from up <laughs> carl from up oh uh i think he would end up going down at the end of the day um we would have to dig a grave for this dude like that's a gg easy win i think that's probably the easiest one i think it's even easier than the ant well no actually i'm gonna put it under the ant and the fish all right so then we have Woody. Woody is like a 50 50 in my opinion. Because let's be honest, Woody does have, uh, he's a cowboy, he has a gun. So it's going to become like a Western standoff between me and him. And I think it's a 50 50. Bing Bong, the imaginary friend. Easy. I don't even have to imagine him and he's dead. All right, Bullseye. 
bullseye it's a horse easy miguel okay miguel this is interesting we're seeing human miguel if miguel became like undead of course he'd be able to kill me but this is human miguel i'm pretty sure i could beat this dude in a fight now if we're talking about like battle of the bands with guitars he could totally beat me any day but on a pure physical battle i would win or yeah i would win anger okay anger is interesting if we look at the emotions which i see there's i think all of them yeah all five of them we could look at them from the viewpoint of is this a psychological warfare type deal in that case i think that i could beat anger but in the world of actual physicalities this is just a short man at the end of the day and he honestly reminds me of the angry elf an angry elf <laughs> You. Um, so I think that's an easy fight. The dinosaur from the good dinosaur, I think this is a 50-50. Either his stupidity can step on me and crush me, or I can get to the guns first and I can kill him and then uh, sell his dinosaur parts. Fear. So based on the pure physicality, I'm going to go with easy battle easy one all right elastigirl um elastigirl would easily destroy me the flexibility of elastigirl um she would just be able to destroy me and reach around and just beat me up in all types of ways same thing goes for mr incredible mr incredible is just legendary he would be able to fight me on this level that is unheard of i would be destroyed all right, the little kid from Up, um, he is a wilderness explorer. I feel like if you're in a predator type of deal, and this dude is the predator, and I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think he has a pretty good shot at killing me, but I'm going to put him in the 50-50. Sully from Monsters, Inc., I think I could easily destroy him, but I would have to put up a fight. And the thing with him is... It's not really a 50-50. I could easily destroy him because he's a monster. And you just gotta hunt the monster. And you know, if I was given enough time, I could research how to defeat a monster. I think it would be very easy to defeat Sully. The same thing would go for Mike Wazowski, actually. Like, Mike Wazowski would actually be a hard fight. Especially if these two teamed up. It would be pretty hard. Disgust. Um, this is a GG easy, easy win. All right, now we're getting into the guy from Onward that Chris Pratt uh, voiced. Now, this dude is a little bit different. I think I could... I think I would be able to destroy him. I I do, because he doesn't really have a whole lot of magical abilities. It's kind of just there. Now, he does know his way around, like, magical type of warfare with, like, swords, but he doesn't have the powers. So, if he doesn't have the power, I think we're good. Even if he did, though, I think I would be able to outsmart him because battle is not only in strength, but it's also an IQ. Now, the big dude from Wally. This guy is easy. Literally, just have to go in there and pick up the chair, and then boom, he's on the ground and he's defenseless. All right, the character that Tom Holland voices in Onward, who is magical. I think he could be able to destroy me. I think he's actually up there above Eve. I haven't even mentioned, I haven't even like turned all these around. I'll do that in the end. But this guy easily be able to destroy me with his magical powers. I don't think there's a fair fight for me. There's no advantages. I'm just going to be done compared to this dude. I understand that he becomes a little bit more experienced at the end. In the beginning, he's like, still like playing with the magic but even when you're playing with magic people get hurt you know it's kind of like when idiots online play with guns and you're not supposed to play with a gun people get hurt or same thing goes with fireworks whatever you want to use with that analogy joy a gg easy all the emotions i'll even put sadness already up there they're just all too easy to fight all right the monster boy from luca i think that i would be able to destroy him 
even though he has fish-like abilities, I think I'm going to put him in the eye would be able to destroy them because he would end up being able to attack me and drag me to the depths of the water. I think that's how it would end up. Marlin from Finding Nemo. I'm going to put him in GG Easy. Same thing with Nemo. I mean, it's basically like Dory. Catch them, fry them up in a pan. All right, Lightning McQueen from Cars. If we're talking about street racing, then he would be able to easily be beat me. But since I don't know, I'm going to put him in I would destroy them because we've seen him in Demolition Derby, which is, I think, what would end up happening. It would end up being like a street race between me and him, and then it would end up being Demolition Derby, and I think I could easily outsmart him in the Demolition Derby and just destroy him, even if I had a Kia. I could easily destroy him. I don't, I don't need a U.S. tank, you know. I can have a Kia, and I can easily destroy Lightning McQueen in the Derby. All right, Joe from uh, Seoul. Now, this is showing human Joe. Now, I don't know if this is banned. If this is banned, kind of like Miguel, easy win on him. Or, he would win easily. If it's not, then... I don't really know. This one's actually kind of hard. Because he's like a lot of the other characters, except we haven't really had a human that has no power whatsoever and is an adult that is not 180 years old or 400 pounds and can only survive on a chair. I think I would be able to... I think it would be a 50-50. Because, you know, we haven't seen him in combat. But at the same time, he literally died because he fell into like a sewage hole and then came back in a cat's body it's a very clumsy guy all right hector from inside out or <coughs> hector from um and take three hector from coco um hector from coco i think this is an interesting one he's kind of undead I think I would just have to fight him around a grave until nobody remembered him. So I think he would go 50-50. Maybe he could kill me first, maybe not. Merida from Brave. Look, I watched this movie once. She knows how to, like, friend a bear. So I think she would be able to destroy me pretty easily just because of that. But her archery skills would probably go crazy in the forest and I'd probably end up dying. The giant fox panda thing from turning red never watched this movie never care to um i mean at the end of the day it's a little teenage girl who's probably in like freshman year of high school um maybe she's like a middle schooler i don't know i don't really care but this is a pretty easy fight i think i think i'd be able to uh easily destroy them but the only reason they're up here it's because this thing, um, this thing actually would end up beating me on the basis of it's a mystical bear. And I think the like logic of this movie is if you make the bear thing mad, then the bear thing can kill you or something. I don't know. It's kind of like Hulk, you know, the angrier he gets, the stronger he is. Wally. My boy Wally. I don't see any reason to fight Wally. I think it would be. I don't know. I don't think Wally would actually be an easy fight. I think it would be a 50 50. And here's why Wally has a brain unlike any other. He's a robot. Now, he's not the brightest robot compared to his girlfriend Eve, but Wally is pretty smart. And I think Wally would be able to use his advantages of environment, even if it's on the ship, which I think I would end up having to fight him on Earth. But I think he would have the advantage of his clumsiness in some ways being able to fight me. It's kind of like Joe and also like the kid from Onward. You know, like clumsiness can be very dangerous. 
And I think this would actually apply with Wally. Alright, this weird looking kid from the Dino movie. Um, that's just an easy fight. I don't even need to explain what would have to happen. I could just literally throw the dude across the earth and then mass destruction happens. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tier list um, from Remy from Ratatouille committing mass genocide to the kid from the Good Dinosaur being an easy one to defeat. These were my uh, picks. Now, I probably will do this with Disney villains and Pixar villains even. So stay up to date with the channel, hit the notification bell, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Smash the like button, share this with your friends, and see you guys in the next one.